In this video, I'm going to go over how you can build a YouTube channel legitimately without actually getting on camera and without creating any of the videos yourself. So stay tuned for this awesome strategy. Hey everyone, it's Graham here and welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I help break down into bite-sized chunks your path to online success. Each week I release videos to show you tips, tricks and strategies that will help you become successful online, all while showing you my journey along the way. If you are new to my channel and you like any of the content that is being shared, please take some time to like the video, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any content being released by me in the future. Also, you can find any of the links relating to this video in the description box below. So let's get into it. So with this method, you can earn anywhere from $100 or more per day. And that depends on how you want to scale it up. Some examples that I'm going to show you, these channels are earning way, way more than $100 per day. And I guarantee you that with the videos that they've put on their channels, they are not the ones recording it themselves. So by following this strategy, you won't need to be on camera or do much at all. There will be some work to do, however, but it'll pay off quite handsomely in the end. So the work that you'll need to do is this. Essentially, you are remaking videos using other videos that are already on YouTube. And get this, this is 100% legit because you are allowed to use these videos and reuse them any way that you would like. The key to this is what's known as Creative Commons. But we'll get into a little bit more detail about Creative Commons a little bit later. With this method, you don't need a camera and a lot of people don't actually want to be on camera. But anyone, anywhere, can start to do the strategy and make a lot of money. So most people think that you're not allowed to reuse content that other people have already put on YouTube. They think that they might be contending with copyright issues or possibly being banned. This is, however, true in some cases, but not always. There's something called Creative Commons. And what Creative Commons is, it allows anyone, anywhere, the right to reuse content that has already been uploaded onto YouTube. But this content that is being used must be marked with Creative Commons by the original creator of that content. And what is cool is it's really easy to identify what is Creative Commons and what's not Creative Commons, if you know how. So stick around to the end of the video so that you don't miss out on any of the critical steps needed to make this work. So let's hop onto the computer and walk you through it. So in YouTube, what you do is you go to the search bar and you type in the particular niche that you're looking for. At this point, you can see I've got conspiracy. However, using this particular strategy, there's a lot of niches that do exceptionally well. I'll go through more later, but some of the niches are technology, meditation, conspiracy, life hacks. So with this particular one, I've got conspiracy up here. And you'll see that this one here is four months old and it's got 19 million views. This one's three months old, 14 million views. Five months, 13 million views. This one, eight months, 11 million views, etc. So you get the trend. There's a lot of views in a short period of time. So with these types of strategies, you can get a lot of views in a short period of time. And you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, well, it's all fair and well. These guys are getting a lot of views but how are they actually making money? So there are numerous business sources that have done a lot of research around this. And one in particular is Business Insider, who states that most YouTubers earn on average $3 CPM. So this basically means that these YouTubers earn three US dollars per 1,000 views. So if a video has a million views, and an average of $3 per 1,000 views, essentially that video has earned $3,000 and that's 100% profit. Now, yes, in order to get this type of ad revenue, what you'll need to do is get your channel monetized. And there's two criteria to getting your channel monetized. One is 1,000 subscribers minimum, and two is 4,000 hours of watch time. Now, that may seem daunting to you. However, if you're consistent with a strategy and try post at least one video a day, it will not take you long at all to actually reach your goal and get the channel monetized. However, as a bonus tip, even before you get to that monetized point, there's ways that you can earn money on your channel. And depending on the niche that you're in, you can actually put affiliate links into your description. And with that, you can actually make sales along the way while you're growing your channel, while you're growing your subscriber base, while you're growing your watch hours. 
All right, so let's actually get into a couple of examples and show you the type of money that some channels are actually making in these niches. So to follow on from our conspiracy option here, I'm going to show you one channel. It's called Nukes Top 5. So with this one is based on conspiracy theories. And if you just go and see what their earning potential is that they've got. So on Social Blade, it'll give you an idea or estimate of their earnings that they've they're pulling in on a monthly basis. Now this is based on views generally. So you can see here on a monthly basis, they're anywhere between $4,000 and $74,000 a month. So even if it's half of that, they're sitting on $35,000 a month that they're making from conspiracy videos. You can see here their yearly estimates are nearing $1 million for a year, which is insane. Okay, if you go further down here, you can actually see the type of views that they're getting on a daily basis. So here are 690,000 views, 1 million views, and he has an estimate of their earnings on a daily basis. So they are well over that $100 a day, and they're actually going up to three to $4,000 per day, as you can see here, based on the number of views that they're getting. Now that's insane. And I guarantee with this type of channel, the footage that they're getting, they're actually not creating it themselves, they're getting it from a numerous different sources or even other videos on YouTube that are Creative Commons. They're compiling it through together and they're actually putting a narration or voice over on it. And on this particular channel, if you go and watch some of their videos, you'll see in a short period of time, they've got 1.3 million views in one week, 1.6 million views in two weeks. So these two videos over here alone, this one makes roughly four and a half thousand dollars on that one video. This one here is also roughly four and a half thousand dollars for one video in a very short period of time. And if you look at the thumbnail, it's a very simplistic thumbnail. It's got a bit of a reaction photo. It's got a circle or arrow to sort of get to that, that key conspiracy point to sort of draw people's attention. And it's very simplistic type of thumbnail to actually create, but it gets you that clickbait version on that thumbnail just to draw the people in. And if you actually watch one of these videos, you'll see that it's got certain video scenes and what they do is they just narrate all the way through. And even if you don't have a microphone to actually record your voice, you just use your phone, record it on here, plug it into your video editor, and there you have it. So one of the next ones I wanna go through is actually life hacks. So if you search life hacks and some of the channels you'll know of, which I'm pretty sure most people know of, is one called Five Minute Crafts. And I'll go through to that page now as well. But this is a very simple one where you've got a number of life hacks that have been compiled together in a compilation video. You've got music playing in the background. Generally, there's no voiceover. On very few channels have I seen on this where there is actually a voiceover. Otherwise, it's just music. And you can get royalty-free music from numerous different sources that are copyright-free. So you get a Creative Commons video. You cut that portion up. You compile your video. You put some copyright-free music on there. And you've got yourself a new video. But let's actually take a look at a couple of examples on life hacks. So one here is called Experiment at Home. So it's very similar to, to Five Minute Crafts. If you take a look at their revenue here, they're earning anywhere from $6,000 to $104,000 a month. And as I say, even if you cut it down the middle, that's still $50,000 a month doing compilations of life hacks. I mean, this yearly number here is crazy, up to $2.4 million. Even if it's half of that, they're making well over a million dollars a year just doing compilations of life hacks. It's insane, okay? If you're looking at their daily views here, so they're getting pretty much generally over a million views a day, and that's earning them anywhere from a couple of hundred dollars to roughly $5,000 a day. So as you can see, when you scroll down here, they've got a good number of views in a very short period of time. If I go into their videos here, and I sort by most popular, if you go through here, I mean there, 10 months, 162 million views, 98 million views in one year. I mean, that's insane. If you're thinking of what they're earning on this, if you're looking at generally, say, $3,000 per 1 million views, you effectively got... 100 million views here at $3,000. I mean, you do the maths. It's it's an insane amount of money. In fact, let's actually do the calculation. So we've got 98 million views and roughly 3,000 per million. 
So that one video in one year has made this channel $294,000 as a minimum. That's at a $3 CPM. These guys are probably earning a lot more than $3 CPM. This one here, 162 million. So 162 multiplied by 3,000. You're looking at nearly $500,000 on one video, guys, in 10 months. It is ridiculous. Let's take a look at 5-Minute Crafts. So if you look at 5-Minute Crafts here, I mean, $39,000 to $629,000 per month. Even if you half that, you're looking at $300,000 per month or roughly anywhere from, say, $6 million to $13 million per year. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean, you can see here on their daily basis, they're getting on average 5 to 6 million views per day. That's equating between $1,000 and $21,000 a day. I mean, sure. Okay. So if you're looking at that, I mean, you know what, what videos they do, but just looking at this one, 279 million views in two years. I mean, that's roughly a million dollars earned on one video. It's, it's ridiculous. In fact, I want to do that calculation. Let's see here. So we got 279 multiplied by $3,000 per million, $837,000 for one video. Yeah, that'll get you up in the morning, eh? Okay, so then let's look at another niche. So if you type in meditation, you'll see that there's a lot of videos here that are hours long. Some of them are one hour, some of them go to 11, 12 hours. It's insane and they have a lot of views. Some of them for meditation, some of them for relaxation, some of them for stress relief. It just depends. But there's a lot of different versions of these. But I mean, look at this one here, for example, 198 million views, 97 million views. This one currently has got nearly 6,000 people watching live. So that just adds into the watch hours and the ad revenue that's going to come about. So if I go into one of these, so let's go into the soothing relaxation. So this soothing relaxation, you can see here, it's between $9,000 and $157,000 a month. So again, half of that you're looking at, say, $75,000 a month. This channel's earning sort of four or $500 minimum to roughly $8,000 per day based on their views. And if you look at the particular videos here, it's got a nice scenic background for your thumbnail. So very simple, you can get that from any sort of royalty-free website um, such as Pixabay, etc. Plug it on here, come up with a sort of keyword-rich title, plug that in there and then just let people watch it. And if you go into a lot of these type of videos, you'll see that some of them might just be a scenic picture or multiple scenic pictures with royalty-free music playing in the background. And that's essentially the video. Some of them might actually put their own voiceovers in and come up with a meditation of some form throughout the video. Some of them will go and get royalty-free videos themselves. So something of like a beach scene or a, a waterfall scene or something of that sort. Put a couple of videos together, have some nice music playing in the background, relaxing music. And there you go, you've got yourself a nice compilation which is getting a lot of views by a lot of people in a short period of time, which is what you want. Then I'm going into a different one. So I'm going to go into a technology niche and show you one particular channel here. So this one's called TechZone. On average, it's getting between $3,000 and $53,000 per month. So even if you cut it in half, you're looking at around $25,000 per month based on the videos that they're putting up. If you're looking at their daily earnings, they're earning well over $100 per day all the way through to two to $3,000 per day. And if you go and take a look at the type of videos that they're doing, they're actually putting a lot of compilation videos together. So it might be something on a truck or a new car or a new type of technology or something. But these particular videos that they're getting, they're actually not getting themselves or creating them themselves. They're finding it from multiple different sources and actually from that particular site or manufacturer or company themselves. They're getting that video from there, cutting it up a little bit in pieces, putting it together, doing a voiceover on it, having a bit of background music as well, and there you have it. 
They've got a video on here that gets 12 million views, 10 million views, 8.1 million views. I mean, it's crazy and it's stuff that they're not even doing themselves. They're literally just finding that source of information from somewhere else, putting it together, uploading it with a new thumbnail, new title, putting their tags and everything together. And there you have it, getting views and making money. And if you have to go into one of these, so let's actually go into this first one here with 12 million views. As you can see, we've got an ad here, so they're actually earning some good money, as we've seen based on their, their average earnings. But then if you see here, if you go to their description, and it's quite clear to see that they've got video footage that they're getting from elsewhere. Because they say, um, for copyright matters, please contact us at whichever email. So that alone tells you that if someone's got an issue with the video that they've created based on certain footage, contact them. because you can tell that it's not their videos. It's not their footage. They're just doing the voiceovers and compiling it and basically reusing someone else's footage, redoing a video for their own channel, and there you have it. So you're probably asking yourself right now, okay, Graham, well, that's cool and all, but which videos can I use to start making money with this? So let's get into the answer. So with this, the key to this is Creative Commons videos. So what you'll do is if you plug in your search term into the search bar, you'll go to filter over here. Once you hit filter, you'll see we've got Creative Commons over here. You select that and it'll filter for all videos that have been marked Creative Commons. What I suggest with this is finding a video that's got million or more views so that you can basically use that video and compile your own video with pieces of it and get a number of videos get three four five different videos that are creative commons link them all together cut pieces out so if you've got one that's a top 10 and now number three five and seven are not very good but you found another video that those have decent ones that you can fill into yours then cut those out compile your own change up the order a little bit and you've got yourself a new video. So if we just take a look at here, in fact, let me just filter Creative Commons. Let's filter it via count. So view count. Perfect, so we've got one here, one million views within nine months. So what you can do is you can download that. It's marked as Creative Commons, so you're free to reuse it however you choose. Download it. If you don't know how to download it, you can either search in Google. There's a number of different options that'll give you. There's some called, I think it's savefrom.net. There's YTMate. Um, there's a few different options that you can actually use. You just copy the link of this video. You plug it into the search area. You click search, it'll pull up the video and you just download it. However, one key thing to remember that every time you do a new search, if you change your search, Sometimes this filter doesn't work and it actually removes the Creative Commons filter. So you need to make sure that you still have that selected. Otherwise you'll pull out a video that's not Creative Commons and have a possible copyright issue as well. So make sure that it's under Creative Commons. And where you can actually see that, let's actually open up one of these. Uh, let's just choose this one here. Okay, so we're on the current page now. So if I scroll down and go to show more in the description, you'll see that it shows you a license Creative Commons. So reuse allowed. So you need to make sure that all the videos you use have this on the description so that you know that you're safe. So let's actually do a quick summary. So the key and critical steps to this is Search for popular Creative Commons videos. Try and make sure that they sort of above that 1 million view mark, if possible. Download multiple videos that you can based on the same thing, and then just sort of take some time and reorganize them, reshuffle the video around, maybe change different music, etc. Basically make a better version of the videos that you just downloaded. And you can actually do this with a number of different free video editors that come with your computers. However, you can even go into Google, search for a free video editor, and then use that. There are a number of different ones out there that are very good. One I think is called HitFilm, and I'll have a link in the description as well for you. 
Then after you create the video, you create an eye-catching thumbnail for your video, as well as a keyword-rich title for that. So don't use the same title that the other videos have had. Use something similar, but make sure it's keyword-rich so that you can get enough views based on that. Then what you do is you use similar tags and keywords from those videos that you chose. So in trying to identify tags and keywords for your videos, on each of the videos that you've downloaded, if you have two different plugins installed, either one of the two, it can be TubeBuddy or it can be vidIQ, you're able to then see what tags and keywords that particular video is using. And it's best to use similar. Don't use all of them, but use a good portion of them so that if that video is being watched, you can now show up as a recommended video or follow on from that particular video on a playlist view, whatever the case may be. So use similar ones and I'll have a link to TubeBuddy and vidIQ in the description box below. Once you've done that, re-upload your video and try and upload a video once a day if possible. Some of the guys are doing it two, three, whatever times per day and getting a lot of traction, a lot of speed and a lot of growth because they got so many videos going out on a daily basis. Some of you might not have the time to do so. So even if you try to get one video out a day, that's good enough. It'll get you there. It'll get you to your goal. It'll start making you some money. This method is 100% legit and YouTube are actually okay with you doing it as long as the videos you're using are Creative Commons. So that way you can reuse that footage without any hassles. Some people out there are killing it using this strategy and they started from a new channel with no subscribers. I'm even going to start a couple myself and then I'll record the progress along the way and present a video on my channel showing you step by step what I did on those as well. So if you put in the effort with this, you will see the return. Some might be faster than others, some might be slower than others, but the return will be there. And if you think to yourself, okay, but Graham, I still don't have the time to do this. Even just that little bit of time to remake or reshuffle the video around. But then my thing to you is this. This has benefit. You need to see the benefit of it. If you want to start this, spend some time, do some yourself. But if you've got a little bit of money to spend, go to an outsource site such as Upwork or Fiverr and get guys to do these particular tasks, the ones that you can't actually get to in time. Get them to do it and then basically have them send you the work and then you can upload. Or just hire them to do pretty much start to finish and they can then do it for you. It really depends on you. What I suggest is starting it off yourself, building up those videos, getting enough to publish once per day, publish them, and then once you start seeing some return and seeing some traction, then maybe outsource as well. It really depends on you, but that's probably what I advise so that you can start off at the cheapest cost, which is obviously free based on your time, so you're pretty much giving your time for that effort, whereas you can also save your time and give some money to save that time. So it really depends on you. However, this is a great way to build up a channel or multiple channels that will start earning you a minimum of $100 a day. So let's actually cover some of the categories or niches that you can use with the strategy that it can actually make a lot of money. So we've already covered a few such as meditation, technology, conspiracy, life hacks. But there are a few others that you can also use that will do very well using the strategy. And obviously choosing your particular niche or category is actually key to this entire thing because you need one that's going to get a lot of views in a very short period of time. If you choose one that doesn't get very many views, you're not gonna get that viewership, you're not gonna get the watch time and ultimately not make the money. So that's actually gonna just waste your time in creating these particular videos and compilations. So some of the other areas for compilations that you can then do that'll make you some money and are pretty easy to actually get going, get started, get the footage and get your videos uploaded. These are the ones to follow. The other ones you can do is the fitness niche whether it be music, workouts, etc., You can actually do top five or top 10. You can do things like animal compilations. You can do scary moment compilations. And you can also do things like sports highlights. That's a very popular one and gets a lot of views very quickly. So there you go, everyone. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button as it'll help this channel a lot, specifically with the YouTube algorithm. Also, don't forget to leave your comments below. Tell me which ones you're going to try, which topics you're going to cover, how you're doing it, 
if it's working for you, if it's not working for you, leave your comments down below. I'll try to respond where I can and to everybody. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any content being released by me in the future. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a great day. We'll chat soon. Cheers.